Euroleague regular season is underway, and this time we will take a look on the worst players of tournament, on the players who did not justify high expectations. We propose a list of 10 players, so let's take a look at them. And at number 10, Ignis Brezdakis, Lithuanian Canadian star of Jalgiris moved to Lentakos in the beginning of the season. Brezdakis was the leader of Jalgiris in the season 22 23, scoring 12 points per game. He also was an important player of Lithuanian national team. At the start of current season, Lentakos paid to Jalgiris 500,000 euros and signed long term deal with the player. But currently, Brezdakis have issues to adopt in the new team, scoring only 3 points per game and making 32% from the field. And now there's another left handed Lithuanian trying to make his mark in the game. Up, under, over, foul, and one. At number 9 is Cassius Robertson from Valencia, the only player in the list with negative efficiency rating. There was not too many expectations from Robertson as he did really huge jump in his career. Last season, Canadian was playing for Bredoiro, where he was leader of the club with 17 points per game. This season, in Euroleague, only 3 points per game and less than 20% from the field. At number 8, Miko Manion from Basconia. Club currently trying to release player as head coach Tushko Ivanovic is using Italian player on the very small minutes. Career of the point guard moving down for several years in a row. He was playing in NB for Golden State Warriors after that two seasons in Virtus Bologna and currently player not able to get solid minutes in Basconia. Next step can be Euro Cup or Champions League. Manion is under 40% from the field, making one turnover for each two assists. He also not the best defender, so his future in Euroleague stays not clear. That's it to go. Fenerbahce, a nine-point lead at Bayern Munich as well as Mannion. Number seven is David Lighty from Aspel. Lighty is a legend of the club. He played for Villarban during nine seasons. There cannot be too many questions to Lighty if not his statistics line. He's making 3.5 points per game while playing almost 20 minutes in average in Euroleague. His shooting line also not looking good, only 28% from the field and 27% from beyond the arc. Also stats of the player dropped a lot compared to last season where he had around 8 points per game and two seasons ago was 10 Absolutely points per run. game in Euroleague. As well used to get back to within four. Currently trailing by six. Tough shot again. Five points in a row for him and how about that for footwork? Number 6 is Marko Simonovic from Cervena Zvezda. Zvezda fans had quite high expectations about young center from Montenegro who passed strong school of Mega Vizura, moved to NBA later. Simonovic was receiving minutes for Chicago Bulls and, before his return to Euroleague, was making double-double in average in G League. Not clear what happened, but Muser under coach Ivanovic, not under coach Sferopoulos, Simonovic cannot get serious minutes. Only 7 minutes per game in Euroleague and 3 points per game. Simonovic didn't score a single point in the last two Euroleague games. Six on the shot clock. Golden on him. Simonovic, baby hook right hand. Leaning away, a little line drive hitter. Number five is teammate of Simonovic, Mike Toby. Toby was shining for Slovenian national team while playing with Luka Doncic but cannot find his place in Cervena Zvezda. He also spent multiple seasons in Valencia and one season in Barcelona. In Serbia, Toby cannot find his range while shooting only around 20% from outside. Finally, coach Sferopoulos given less and less playing time to the big man. Just to compare at FIBA World Cup for Slovenia, Toby was scoring more than 11 points per game, while in current Euroleague season less than 4 points per game. Number 4 is Nathan Sistina from Fenerbahce. Sistina makes terrible 11% from outside. He made only 2 from 17 shots during this season. Just to compare while playing in Euro Cup for Tour Telecom, Sistina was scoring 37% from outside. Forward was one of the reasons of slow start of Fenerbahce and resigning of Kochi Tudis. Position 4 was quite weak sight of Turkish powerhouse. 
that C made by Sharuna Sisikeviches will change something and will help to American forward improve his touch line. Bir top kaybı daha geldi. Yine Scotty Wilbeckin. Dörde bir ucum. Scotty Wilbeckin. Ne istesine? Çok... Next in the list is Mateusz Panitka. Panitka leaked Polish national team to the semi-final of Eurobasket and had quite big role in Panathinaikos last season. In 2023 Panitka moved to Partizan but currently it looks like transfer mistake of Jelko Bradovic. First of all Mateusz fighting with injuries during the season and this fact not allowing to him to show full potential. Secondary even while playing he cannot find his pace on the court making less than 2 points per game for 9 minutes. Panitka, shot clock down to 3. Panitka shoots the deep 3 and he got it! Mateusz Panitka! Number 2 is Kyle Guy. American guard came to the club last summer for the important role of catch-and-shoot scorer. Guy shined in the playoff of Spanish league where his team Hoven Tut first passed Basconi in quarter-finals, Tafter took one game in semi-final against Real Madrid. American player was especially good in these games that helped him to grab attention from Euroleague clubs. Finally, Guy selected Panathinaikos and was not able to show his shooting potential under Ergin Ataman. Finally, Greek powerhouse signed Kendrick Nunn at the same position and this fact almost killed any hopes for playing minutes for former Hoventut player. Now we can expect that Pau may release Kyle Guy from the roster. And just let the clock run out. In fact, they kick it to Guy for three and he hits. And the winner is Kemba Walker. Former NCAA champion and four times NB All-Star is one of the highest paid Monaco players with salary around 1.5 million euros per season. Kemba still adapting to European basketball and it is difficult to predict if he will be able to move on a higher role in the club. Player during full Euroleague season stays in the shadow of Mike James and Elio Kobo. Only 10 minutes per game in Euroleague, 3 points per game around 30% from the field and 24% from outside. Maybe Monaco bosses were reliant first of all on marketing effect but looks like past injuries will not allow Kemba return to his previous level. Skill set is still there but speed and quickness are gone. Without this quality Walker looks like average player at Euroleague level. Again from the Stark Arena as he scores his first Euroleague point. And this is it for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.